So in this video what I'm going to show you starts off the first half of which is what I showed you in this video and the last bit is more like what I showed you in this video but the shape that comes out is a bit simpler and uh, more regular. So I'm going to start with creating a torus and using this little control here and as I did before in the first videos I showed you just there I create this shape and then I start rotating the corners round so I select an edge loop and rotate just check the axis it looks like it's going to be an x-axis one and then rotate it around 45 degrees holding the shift key down to get discrete steps loop rotate on the z-axis and rotate round 90 degrees going clockwise in each case from the direction I'm looking so select this one loop and rotate again that'll be back to x-axis I need to go clockwise so the signs going to be different and needs to be 135 I'm still keeping the shift key uh, pressed down there now I need to cut the shape up just temporarily so loop both those end loop cut so I've cut it in half and then selecting from this direction is critical because I need the edge that's facing me because I need to rotate the edge independently of uh, the other object so I can't use loops now because it's no longer a loop and I just need to check rotate on the Z that I have got just that end and need to rotate it exactly 180 degrees select both the objects and I'm going to weld them together so now the corner should light up red indicating they've all been welded that's good now the next step is select this entire object and smooth it once and they're going to extrude the faces just to make it a bit fatter uh, I don't know about uh, that much whatever that much is and then with the edge selection tool I'm going to select one edge there miss an edge and go to an edge there now because it's a Mobius shape when I use the G which is edge ring yes I've remembered the name of it that will allow me to select two strips around the outside of the shape if I now select the faces you can see how these spiral around one another in an interesting way and then I'm going to use shell extrude to generate those uh, like a two um, cylindrical cube cross section things that run around in a circle. I don't know what the correct topographical name is for them or even if topographical is well, is that what typefaces are? No, that's typographical. Anyway it looks like that I don't know what it's called. Now the next step is to bridge alternate faces together which is like the second part of the other video so I'll select on that face there and that face there and bridge that and this will take a lot less time than it did in the other video miss one selection of faces and then move on to the next one and bridge that and then move on to the next one and bridge that so just bridge 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 okay and then there's one more on this particular pairing and bridge that now the, the the other one the other one which is actually two facing each other just goes in between those two so it, it's a matter of repeating the same process but alternating it so you've got the 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 two sets of spirals br bridging back to themselves and uh, and slotting into each other which creates an interesting compact uh, mobius shape which I uh, don't know what the name for is, but we'll we'll just call it that. Right. So I'm at this point now. Uh, last thing to do to uh, to create the shape is the outside edges there and there, which are facing one of the slots going inwards, and likewise for the other bit, just select a pair of each fa facing on top of these ones that go through the shape, and use loop to select the outer edges, and then right click and bevel them down, and you just want to bevel them down slightly and what this means is when you select the entire shapes there you can see there's two separate shapes and start smoothing them the fact that you've beveled the edge down will make it sharp so you get a nice effect where you've got this sort of a flatter area and then it goes around a bit of a radius and these other bits just slot into one another without hitting each other which is nice it gets very close but doesn't quite by the looks of it which I rather liked the effect of so that was the shape I've ended up making and I suppose that's the end of the tutorial except perhaps to suggest that you could uh, rename one of the materials so on the face mode right click material right click on material and give one a new material and say OK and if you look in the outline here that means we've got default a new material which means it can be separated in Octane 
and, and Bryce, but it, Bryce would recognize that these were two separate objects and then it's just a matter of exporting your object to the renderer of your choice. So um, I'll call that compact P-A-C-T um, I-U-S pair. Right, and that'll be the name of the object, whatever it is that I'm going to call it. So there you go, just a quick tutorial to create that shape. I hope you found that interesting and that you'll have a go at that yourself in Wings 3D, and then render it.